Welcome to our channel NKC Insight. Every year on June 12 is commemorated as World Day Against Child Labor. The day was launched by ILO International Labor Organization since 2002. The day raises for awareness about the plight of child laborers in worldwide, for the prevention of child labor. Also, the day is used to spread awareness about the harmful mental and physical problems faced by children forced into child labor, around the world. Tens of thousands of children work 14 to 16 hours a day, with scant access to water and nutrition, in a variety of professions. However, there are common sectors, for high child labor employment and poor working conditions alike, garment industry, brick kilns, unorganized sector, agriculture and firework. Majority of the child laborers, around 71%, are involved in the agricultural sector that includes fishing, forestry, livestock herding and aquaculture. According to the International Labor Organization ILO, there are about 152 million children globally who are engaged in child labor, 72 million of whom are in hazardous work. Almost 1 in 10 of all children worldwide is in child labor. While the number of children in child labor has declined by 94 million since 2000, the rate of reduction slowed by two-thirds in recent years. Child labor accounts for 22% of the workforce in Asia, 32% in Africa, 17% in Latin America, 1% in the US, Canada, Europe and other wealthy nations. Africa has the highest percentage of children aged 5 to 17 employed as child labor, and a total of over 65 million. Asia, with its larger population, has the largest number of children employed as child labor at about 114 million. The data also reveals that around 48% victims of child labor are aged between 5 to 11 years, 28% are aged between 12 to 14 years and the remaining 24% fall in the 15 to 17 years bracket. The work that children can be forced to do might also be illegal, such as working with drug gangs or in prostitution. Many children may get no money for the work they do but they will get food and a place to sleep if they become sick or injured. As per the United Nations, child labor has been reduced by two-thirds in recent years and there has been a decline of 94 million in terms of the number of children involved since 2000. According to the last census, more than 10 million child laborers in India, many are kept confined to the workplace by employers. Many communities, particularly rural areas where between 60 to 70 percent of child labor is prevalent, do not possess adequate school facilities. International Labor Organization ILO, suggests poverty is the greatest single cause behind child labor. For impoverished households, income from a child's work is usually crucial for his or her own survival or for that of the household. Income from working children, even if small, may be between 25 and 40 percent of the household income. Lack of meaningful alternatives, such as affordable schools and quality education, is another major factor driving children to harmful labor. Many children were among migrant workers who started walking back to their villages with little money or food. Child labor thus leads to lower wages and higher unemployment among adults. Children who work and do not go to school will end up in low-paid jobs later, and so will their children and so the vicious cycle of poverty is perpetuated. Child labor and other forms of exploitation are preventable through integrated approaches that strengthen child protection systems. As well as simultaneously addressing poverty and inequity, improve access to and quality of education and mobilize public support for respecting children's rights. They can also team up to offer educational courses to parents, giving parents the skills to increase their own income and avoid having to send their children out to work. In 1979, the central government formed the first statutory committee to analyses and research on the issue of child labor in India. Numerous child rights activists and NGOs have been at the forefront of tackling the problem of child labor in India. Working in the remote corners of the country, NGOs like Save the Children run programs at the ground level to eradicate child labor. UNICEF supports the achievement of SDG Target 8.7 which provides that states take immediate and effective measures to secure the prohibition and elimination of the worst forms of child labor, including recruitment and use of child soldiers, and by 2025 end child labor in all its forms. Thanks for watching this video, like, comment and share our video also subscribe our channel for more videos.